What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Holland Bass TV. Today, we're putting in the live well. We have a cooler live well that will sit in this area, and we're actually going to install a live well pump in the actual boat so we can leave everything in there and just take the cooler out and just hook it up when we need it. Super simple. It's not going to be a self contained live well, but as long as we have the cooler with us, we got a live well. No forgetting nothing, none of that stuff. So let's roll that killer intro and get into building this live well. All right, y'all, I am super stoked to get this live well put in this boat but let's go over everything that I have for this live well and what I'm gonna use to make a live well that we can take in and out of the boat. The first thing we have is just a regular live well pump, 800 gallons. This is by Atwood, it's about $30. We have a screen that actually fits on the back of this so that it won't suck up any debris and it won't tear up the motor the next thing we have is our regular sprayer which is going to sit right in here like this and we're going to have to drill through this to make sure that it fits in here properly and we're going to have to seal it back up so that it doesn't leak everywhere next thing we need is an actual plumbing kit to run from the live well pump to the actual sprayer in the cooler. And the last thing that I have today is hinges for the back of these igloo coolers. These hinges and these latches are never really the best. They're pretty flimsy, but the simple solution is to get these hinges and install them on the cooler. Super simple, super quick, and you'll never have a problem with them. All this stuff that I have for this live well is link down below in my amazon store the link will send you right to my amazon store it's under the cooler live well area make sure you guys go check that out if you guys are going to build your own live well so that you guys get exactly what i have just to make sure that it works and it all fits together so this is our live well pump our sealable elbow so that we can run this right in here and it will seal itself then we can run our bilge pump hose and it will be ready to rock and roll. Might mount it just like that. Let's get to drilling our hole. Let's see how she fits, y'all. Like a glove. I'm gonna run these wires on the other side, but up underneath this brace and it'll come out back here and I'll be able to run it up into the box and there won't be a problem there. That'll be the easiest way that I have found to run those and have them work properly. So now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a bead of silicone sealant right here and I'm gonna run a bead of silicone sealant around here and then all I have to do is push this through the hole, screw this on until it's completely tight against that hole and this sealant will seal both sides of it and there's no way that it's going to leak after that so let's get to it first thing i'm going to do is run a little bead around this all right now that i have that ready to go on so now i'm going to run a bead all the way around this so that it'll seal on both sides Hopefully y'all can see that. This lighting is not the best. So that's how it looks right now, just like that. And I'm gonna stick this in there, and then all I'm gonna do is come to the other side and screw this on. take my finger and run it around and 
both directions. So, I get all the excess off there and I make sure that there's a nice clean seal all the way around. So now that we have that sitting up, and we're gonna wait for that to sit up for a while, I'm gonna work on the actual cooler. Put these new hinges on so that we ain't gotta worry about the lid falling off of it. That'd be a really bad thing to happen on the water for sure. There's one, two more. And when you do these, you always wanna make sure that you do one at a time so that you're not fighting with the lid and everything else to be in the right position when you're putting these back in. Perfect. Now I would suggest saving these just in case something happened to these. So all I gotta do is get my hole drilled in here. I just need to pick my spot for it. Get her in there, and she'll be good to go. After further thought, I'm gonna put it up here just cause of the boat layout and everything else. It's what makes sense in my head. Is I'm just gonna run a bead of silicone in here I'm gonna run it on the back side of this also. And we're just gonna thread her on there and we'll be good to go. All right, now that that's done, I'm just gonna run my bead of silicone around here. All right, let's get this put in here and clocked properly. There we go. I want it sitting right like that. Now just to throw this on the back side and we'll be good to go. y'all while all that stuff is setting up i'm gonna go ahead and start wiring the switch for the live well pump so that we can see if she runs tonight let's get it and i'll go over an extensive wiring video when i wire my boat but i really didn't have a whole lot of time because we got to get this thing out in the water for the tournament season but when i'm wiring my boat i'll be sure to go over every little thing Got her all wired. Everything's in that box. All our switches are good. It's about to be the moment of truth. Just gonna run them for just a second to make sure they work. Not supposed to run them dry for a second or two, just to make sure they work. Not a big deal. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully then there's no, uh, no smoke involved. Let's see if they work. So I'm gonna try live well pump first. She works. I'm gonna try the nav light next. There we go. There's that one. I'm gonna try the interior lights. They work. I'm gonna try the bilge pump. That's manual. That's automatic. It all came together. It's a lot of work or wiring, but it's such a great feeling when you get everything done and it works the way it's supposed to. It's absolutely amazing. Very happy that everything works. All I gotta do is run this tubing from here to the live well. We're good to go. 